Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're gonna make pan-seared chicken with a broccoli and sun-dried tomato pasta. I make this recipe all the time and take it to work, and let me tell you, it is absolutely fantastic. So join me as we make pan-seared chicken breast with broccoli and sun-dried tomato pasta. So the very first thing is we're going to prep our chicken and I have three boneless skinless chicken breasts here and we're going to go ahead and trim them a little bit and we're going to butterfly them. Um, our pan seared chicken is going to have sort of thin um, sliced chicken in there and we want to make sure that we get this trimmed. I buy these in a club pack at my local store and they don't trim them very well. <laughs> But I do get a really good price on them, so I guess the trade-off is worth it, right? So there's usually like a little piece of connective tissue in there. So to butterfly it, we're basically going to cut it this way, so we have two thin slices of chicken. Um, so let's go for it. So let's trim this up. From this edge. This has got some stuff in here I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, and then to again to butterfly it, we're just gonna hold our knife this way, cut here, and we will end up with two nice thin pieces of chicken. Now, my grocery store sells chicken it's basically thin chicken breast and it's basically just butterfly chicken breast the cost of this in my local um grocery store is a dollar 99 a pound the cost of the thin stuff is like almost four dollars a pound so you're going to double your price to get them to cut it for you like that and it's so easy to do though your cuts might not be quite as good as your butcher. Um, I don't pay that no mind. Because once I cook this up, you're not going to be able to see the, the beautiful cut anyway. Okay, so our chicken is cut, and now we're going to prepare them for pan searing. So let's prepare our chicken for the pan. Pretty much I just have basic AP flour here and I'm gonna scoop just, I mean you can measure it. I don't really measure it just because I can kind of gauge the amount of chicken I have and I'll just throw this in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a really light coating of flour and we're gonna um, tap it off. We don't, we're not making like big coated fried chicken. We're just making pan seared chicken. So here's our chicken that we prepared and I'm gonna give it a little S&P. Um, normally I would say use fresh ground pepper. The thing is I kind of want like it to be a little finer. So we're just going straight out of the shaker here. And we're gonna go ahead and flip this chicken. Bacock! Hope it doesn't fly away from us, right? Ha ha ha, that's a little coax humor. It wasn't very funny. That's okay. Gonna give it a little bit more, oops, do it in order, right? Gonna give it a little more salt. Chicken needs a little bit of seasoning because otherwise it not going to be too grand. A little bit of pep. So now I'm going to season the flour. You can use any kind of seasoning blend you like. Um, I happen to like Mrs. Dash. I don't know why. I just got hooked on this stuff. Um, this is not a Mrs. Dash recipe. This is my own recipe. But for some reason, 
I just love Mrs. Dash. So thanks, Mrs. Dash. We're just going to season up our flour here. You can season it as well or as light as you want. I'm sort of a sort of a season well kind of person. So we're going for it, right? And we're just going to dredge our chicken really quick. Um, what you want to do is just put your chicken down, flip it. You can do that a couple times just to get it kind of coated. But we're not making fried chicken. So we're going to dust it off here a little bit. We just want a light coating of flour. Okay, so that's our last piece, and we're getting ready to pan fry these. So what I have here is I have an enameled cast iron skillet on my induction burner. The induction burner has a fan in it, so if you can hear that, that's just what that is. So we're gonna take some olive oil, and we're gonna coat the bottom of the skillet, and we're gonna cook our chicken. And I got out a little um, um, splatter guard, otherwise it's gonna be all over the place. So we're gonna go ahead and take our chicken, put it in here in the pot. And depending on how big your uh, skillet is, will depend on how many you can cook at one time. This is a fairly large skillet, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook up four, and then I'll do the other ones in a second batch. So we're going to cook these until they're pretty much done. And when they're done, we're going to put them on a plate and we're going to put them in the oven, a low oven, 200, 250, while we cook up the pasta. So the chicken is all cooked up. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm just putting it on a plate real quick. And I have these tented with foil. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven, like 200 degrees, just to keep it warm till we get the pasta done. So we have a pot of water boiling over there for our pasta, and we're just going to slice up some garlic. And I actually have five cloves of garlic here. You can use as much or as little as you want. I happen to really like garlic, so that's what we're getting. <laughs> and you just want to slice this garlic. So you want to take the... Um, paper off and this one's got a little piece there that can go and then we're just going to slice it you don't really want cr crushed garlic in this dish you want sliced okay so now we're going to prep our broccoli i actually have two heads of broccoli we'll see how much we actually need um, so basically, we're just going to cut the little flowers off of this. We're going to get rid of this middle stem. Whoops. One almost got away. And this broccoli adds so much to this dish. It is really, really great. Even if you don't like broccoli, you know, you could use zucchini if you like that. Um, broccoli is so good. Just try it. You will love it. So we want kind of bite-sized pieces. So on these kind of pieces, we're just going to cut those in half. Um, you don't want them too big. Woo! It's one that got away. So our garlic is sliced. Our... Um, Broccoli is prepped and washed. And now we're just gonna take some sun-dried tomatoes. These are, these are sun-dried tomatoes in extra virgin olive oil. And we're just gonna chop them up a little bit. Not too, too much, but the pieces are kind of big. And I don't really want that big of a piece in my pasta. So we can just strip them and 
cut them up. I mean, you can cut them up as big or as small as you want them. Okay, so we have our hot boiling water. I really salted it down um, so we get some flavor into this pasta. So I pretty much have some pasta here. This is a one pound package and I'm gonna make half of it. So we pretty much want a half a pound of pasta. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there and um, it will settle down in there. In our skillet, I wiped it out so we didn't have a lot of that chicken grease in there and I'm gonna go ahead and put some more oil in here. We want probably three or four tablespoons. So we have some olive oil in our pan and we're gonna put a couple tablespoons of butter. We might add a little bit more butter when the pasta's in here. I am allergic to cheese, so I don't put any Parmesan. You certainly can do that. Um, so I put a little bit extra butter to compensate for my lack of cheese. So we're gonna add our sliced garlic and we're just going to let this garlic flavor our oil. Get that nice garlic flavor in there. We're also gonna put a little crushed red pepper in here. You can put it to your taste. This will make it a little spicy if you go overboard. And we're gonna just let that flavor the oil. Okay, so that's looking really good. We're gonna put in one cup of chicken stock. And I made this out of better than bouillon. And then in here, we're gonna add our broccoli. And we're just gonna cook our broccoli in here until it's crisp tender. So our broccoli is simmering away here. I'm just gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes and stir those in. And as soon as this Broccoli is crisp tender and the pasta is done. We'll go ahead and add it. So I just added a little bit more butter. We'll see at the end how this is going to taste. So our pasta is done. And we're going to get it into the pan here. And let's go ahead and give it a little stir here. Wow, it looks really good. It looks absolutely delicious. Just because I'm not having any cheese, we'll go ahead and have a little more butter. And then we're gonna season it up, a little S and P. We'll let that butter melt in to our dish. Turn it up a little bit because we can get that sauce to cook down a little bit. Wow, it smells delicious. You can put some Parmesan in here. Definitely, I'm gonna leave that out because I'm allergic to milk. And let's give it a taste for seasoning. It looks pretty daggone fabulous, if you ask me. Ooh, this is gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> mm, wow. Mm. It is so stinking good. Put a little salt and pepper just to bring up that flavor a little bit. So our sauce is coming up a little bit. Um, I got our chicken out of the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and put the chicken in here. We'll nestle it 
on top. Wow, this is, this right here is comfort food. I don't know what, you know, what else to call it. You can actually make this dish with whatever you want. You don't really need a tomato sauce all the time. You can, um, you know, get away with something, you know, simple and easy like this. So we're gonna plate it up and have a taste. So let's go ahead and give us a little serving. This looks really, really good. It doesn't take long to make, and you know, it's a quick weekend, weeknight dinner, um, and you'll love it. I make this all the time. Wow. Let's get us a nice serving. And we'll go ahead and we'll take a little, I'm gonna take this little piece of chicken. And we'll give it a taste. So we'll first taste our chicken with a little bit of broccoli. It smells fantastic in here. <laughs> it tastes fantastic. Mm. This is so good. If you use this process, you can pretty much put any vegetables you want with it. Um, asparagus, you can put zucchini, artichoke hearts. Wow. The crushed red pepper really adds something. Make sure you use a good quality um, chicken stock. I use better than bouillon. It gives it a really rich taste. Um, cook your broccoli crisp tender. They should have a little bit of crispiness to them. You don't want them overcooked. Um, you will love this. I make this all the time and I just can't get enough of it. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave me a comment and a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook. Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to make pan seared chicken with. Su with sun dried broccoli? <laughs> with the broccoli and sun dried tomato pasta. Tomato. Damn, you almost had that. No, take, tomato. Take two. <laughs> Sobering up. Mm -hmm. 